Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Urban and Crafting. And we're flying through the magical cove here with all of our big, beautiful builds surrounding this area. We have Grian's incredible hobbit home that is really taking shape. We've got our cursed portal, the mine, and of course, Larry. Look at him. Look at him. Look at his face. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And it is very good to have you today and i hope you are doing well and that was our very first flying intro of season seven how about a like rating for that anyway my friends in our last episode of course we achieved great flight and it feels good to have the wings beneath our i was gonna say our feet but that that makes no sense and we also built this amazing portal design here that is themed to a sith temple from star wars and Stonehenge. And I think it's looking pretty cool. I'm very pleased with it. I'm glad you guys like it. And of course, we have tons of modifications coming to make this even better soon once resources become available. So you might have noticed that the portal isn't much of a portal if it's not lit. So we're going to soon head to the shopping district and get Impulse to set this up for us because he has a service for this and we will take advantage of it because I have not lit it because I'm trying to be a good neighbor because guaranteed I'm going to mess with either uh, Grian's portal or Iskull's or even Bumbo's. So we're going to do this the professional way. Sweet baby Merlin, my friends. Look at this thing Cub has actually built here in the shopping district. I don't even want to know how long it took to take each one of these things from the end and bring it here. That's dedication right there. And to make this like shape like that, that is super, super cool. I know he was struggling with this, but it looks like he nailed it. Anyway, we are here, of course, to enlist the services of Impulse to set our nether portal upright and also put it in the bedrock above the nether. So welcome to Impulse's bedrock breaking services. For a small fee of five diamonds, Impulse will break a block in the nether ceiling wherever you like. Just leave your order on the next page and deposit 10 diamonds in... Wait, what? how did it go from five diamonds to 10 diamonds? In I don't get this. I'm very confused. In the chest on the right. Thanks for your business, Impulse. I think I forgot to bring the coordinates too. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. <laughs> so sample order, Impulse, and then the coordinates. Some kind of neighbor neighborhood dispute going on out there. There's some diamonds flowing around. There was a few fists being thrown. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And 10 diamonds for the service. While we're here in the shopping district, let's make a quick stop at Corrales's book barn here. I'm going to get two unbreaking books because I never seem to have enough unbreaking and the price is five diamonds per book. Beautiful. Also picked up a flame for my bow and arrow and a sharpness five. For my sword. We'll be back here next week to build the chest monster shop that will sell storage devices, specifically shulker boxes, which I think are going to fly off the shelves and really help us on Operation Aqua Thunder. So next week, we're coming back. But before we even can open that shop, we need to get two things more shulker boxes, which we're going to do over the weekend on stream. And two, we need to go to the mines and get diamonds because this season we pay for the land that the shops sit on. And we're going to need at least 30 something diamonds to pay for that land. I'm all geared out for this mining expedition because I'd rather not die because we're going to need those diamonds for next week. We can either take the right or the left here for our official branch mine. I think I'm going to take this one here because the one on the right here, I died in that one. I don't want to go back. Oh gosh, what in the world? <laughs> See, I told you this one is, uh, this one's dangerous. We're going to give that one to Grian. My plan here in the diamond challenge mine is one hour, one stack of diamonds. You think I can achieve this? If you think I can, hashtag I believe in you, Scar. Or if you don't, it's totally fine. I don't believe in you, Scar. <laughs> I want to see what your prediction is, but I'll see you in one hour. Welcome back. And we now have a massive chest of ore and ore galore. And we're going to take that 30 diamond blocks here and break that down and see if we got our goal. We have arrived at a bit of a predicament. Our shovel here, better known as a pickaxe, has 1% durability, as you can see. And we are also one diamond away from our goal of one stack of diamonds in one hour. So yeah, sacrifices need to be made here. Oh no, I broke the wrong block. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> I broke the wrong block. Unbelievable. <laughs> so I packed up all of our ore. I'm never moving that block. It will live there till this season is done. All of that beautiful ore is now smelting down into ingots here. And I have a question for you. How do you get the XP out of Furnace when they're set up in this configuration? I tried breaking one in thoughts that it might release the XP to me, and it didn't. And I'm kind of disappointed because I have uh, smelted down a ton of stuff in these things and didn't get any XP. Plus, like, I've taken out a ton of glass and stone from these, so there literally should be a ton of XP, but I didn't get any. Anyway, let's head up here because... I've got another issue, and that's my door is gone again. And I found out there is a man amongst us. A man known as the jungler, who has a taste for doors. We just made a lot of doors, and now we're all secured once again. Now, I had put this little container here next to the door to store all of my extra doors, but I realized that the one, the only, Mamu of the Big Baggins, has put a Kaguma down here, and this is now where we're going to store the doors. And that is absolutely amazing. So thank you, Mumbo, for building this. Very appreciative. And yeah, our doors are now safe, and I'm, I'm stuck. I, I'm, I don't know how to get out of here. It's time to get to what we have planned for today's video, and that is a creeper farm. And we need to get some supplies to make that happen. The first thing, is three wither skulls. Well, that was easy. <laughs> we just came out of the nether there. This ghast is my friend. He's been hanging out here. He doesn't bother me at all. So that's good. So what we need to do, of course, is get three wither skeleton heads. Finally, <laughs> we finally got one. That was a lot of grinding. We need two more. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we lost it. We lost everything. We've got the heads and they're in the fortress. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, I got a little too confident there. Wow. Okay, did we at least get my wings back? We got the wings. Oh, I thought I had three. I'm just happy I got my stuff back, honestly. I don't even care that I have two. A smart Minecrafter would have realized they had an ender chest in their inventory and tucked away their precious heads. <laughs> we got it, and we're getting out of here. Back from the nether, safe and sound, and I'm trying to get XP back up as quickly as possible, so I am harvesting down some of the nether quartz that we got so we can get some proper armor because we nearly depleted everything while we were there. After a lot of work, it's finally time to fight the wither. We've got our wither heads, We've got our soul sand, and we got a pretty good sword there with sharpness five. Let's set up here in the diamond challenge mine. I think we'll be away from builds and we'll be deep underground, safe and protected. Why is there a diamond block on the ceiling over here? Oh my gosh, it is the cursed diamond block that ruined our pickaxe that I said I would never touch. And now it's over here. <laughs> Is this like a bad omen? <laughs> I don't know. Now I feel like scared. That 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 seems spooky. Set up this little hole in the wall for some emergency supplies. All right. <laughs> it's time to do this. I think we are far enough away not to cause any damage. And one, two, three. We are a go. Okay. I got this new bow here, so hopefully it works. He, he doesn't see us. <laughs> Hello? Good. Let's get him. Oh, no, no. He's charging. I forgot about the charge. Okay. Okay. He's good. He's good. Uh, ouch. He need hit me right down the hallway. I thought this would be a little bit more safe. Okay. I'm going to eat this apple just to be safe here. Okay. We good? We got this super, super good sword here. All right. I see him right around the corner. Right? Hey. Okay. Okay. He's decapitated himself. <laughs> Hello, friend. Ooh, you got a mean face. I need to visit your home. <laughs> And I need to retrieve something. Your your inner soul. That's right. Your inner soul. Wait, why am I? Oh, we're getting some hits. We're getting some good hits. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're depleted. No, oh, no, 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 no. Please, make Trev slept in that bed. Oh, I knew I didn't. I didn't set the spawn point. Oh, no. Okay, we got our spawn point set. I've got some potatoes here. All right, let's do this. What is this? No. What are you doing? You got all my stuff. Where did you come from? <laughs> no, no, no. No, you got my things. 
No, how am I gonna deal with that? Okay, where's my old bow? Okay, we got my old bow. We're, co we're going in. Okay, this, this was bad placement. Oh, look at him. His mistake. He's not wearing shoes. Oh, got you now, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's get our stuff back on. A momentary setback. Let's get our things. Oh, we get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. We don't have pants on. Oh, it's our downfall. Oh, the... okay, we got him. Look at his little head. No, 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 come on, come on. Oh, oh boy. Okay, well, I still made that bad decision there. Got to fix that at some point. Don't mock me. He's mocking me and he looks bigger than he was. Doesn't he look bigger? <laughs> he looks bigger. And he's knocked out all the lights. Okay, hold on, let's get our Ooh, where'd this come from? Ooh, we can make dive with that later. We're going in, we're going big, my friends. We're going all out. Boom, boom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on, come on. I don't know what to do here. I think we're in danger. I'm in danger. We all are in <laughs> danger. <laughs> oh no, not the bed again. The bed is the biggest problem of all. <laughs> let's sleep. Okay, we're gonna try to get green over here. He's like literally in his hobbit hole. Um, let's see, I don't even know what to say. I'm so confused. I'm in the mind. Right next to you. Sorry for the misspellings. Oh gosh, this bed again, what in the world? Okay, we're going in, we're going in. Where's my, st oh, my stuff's back there. No, oh, my potatoes! Bed again, problem. Still don't know how to fix that without a pickaxe. <laughs> we don't have any more tools. Green, my hero! Um, will that work? <laughs> what was the TNT? I'm scared. Do not fear. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, Green's gonna take care of this. Wait, 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 what in the world? No, <laughs> no, no, that didn't help. That is not helping in this dang bed. I'm done with you, bed. Here, what if I did this? Oh, that's big brain scar right there. We can go after him with the ax. That might be our only hope. I don't know where the G-Man is. Thank you. Oh, here he is. Here he is. He's here. He's here. I'm coming in too. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. <laughs> with the power of ax and two diorites. Oh, this bed. This is a bad design for a bed. <laughs> this is a bad design. We're gonna put the bed here now. The bed's gonna go right there. Go, go. I'm going in. I'm going in for solidarity. Oh, there's the sword. Oh, I'm the hero now. I'm the hero now. <laughs> Dang it, I'm not. Uh, no, this bed. This bed. This bed is such a problem. Here we go. I'm at a loss here. I've got no more supplies. I want that sword. So, never mind. Have you left me to die? <laughs> I'm going back to my base to see if I can find anything that we can use. Maybe some of the weapons we got from the end. I think we might have like a few pieces of armor and a sword. G-Man is back. He made it back. Look at the armor. Look at the shine. This time we fight him. <laughs> what have I been trying to do this whole time? <laughs> Using superpower. Ooh. And two brain cells. <laughs> Let's see what the plan is here. No, I'm like one block shy. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe. I'm so close to hitting him. Dang it. All right. Green. Oh, shoot. No, I didn't mean to fall down here. No, no. Oh, we're going out. We're going out big here. Oh, I do have help. I do have help. Come on. Sweet. There we go. We're going in. Let's get him the fatal blows. The fatal blows. We did it. Well, I was typing. G man, you are my uh, hero. Oh man, that was exhausting. <laughs> oh I look, the cavalry's you. here. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks for thanks for showing up when you did, Tango. Are they more powerful in 1.15? You know, I don't think so. I, I managed it. You know, let's get out of here. It's, it's so dark in here. You could have said yeah, and it could have, you know, boosted my feelings and my my self-esteem a little bit there. It would have been a simple gesture, you know? Nothing too extreme. <laughs> I've I figured out what my superpower is. Losing all my stuff. I lost my elytra. <laughs> I lost my elytra. Uh, I, I've lost many things today. I am once again now the poorest hermit. Everything is gone. <laughs> did you get the star by chance? I did. I got it. Oh, I got it. thank. I, <laughs> thank the hermits in the skies. I am so sorry. 
<laughs> I thought I could come in here, blow the wither up, and that would be it. Little did I know, the wither ignites the TNT. Um, my bad. You know, I was standing there and I was thinking you were you were in cahoots for a moment with the wither. I assume you were using this for a uh, a biggity beacon. Yes, yes, I I I I think that's what I was here for. I honestly, I was hitting the head so many times, I'm a little bit dazed. Well, uh, I did recover your diamond gear. Ooh, so I do have something I can wear into the jungle. It's so dangerous out there. Um, I am sorry about the bed incident. I. Uh, that was a poor placement on my part. <laughs> that was a bad... <laughs> this turned into bed wars. Uh, uh, yeah, it turns out you need you need two brain cells to kill the wither, not not one. And uh, that bed placement was one brain cell placement. <laughs> well, we combined. We combined the power. It was three brain cells, and that's what did it. That's why we won. I'm going to go take a nap. Well, that could have gone any worse. But we made it out of there. We may be still withered, but we've got our nether star, which is amazing. And uh, I'm still a little shaky, a little sweaty, but my pants did remain dry. So that is a plus. And a thank you to Grian for his hero work. And to thank him properly, we're going to give him Elytra. <laughs> Speaking of Grian, he's already here. I just messaged him that I'm going to give him an Elytra. So let's get that to him. Uh, thank you, dude. Thank you. I, <laughs> I know I helped you out there, but I really didn't want to lose my Elytra. I'm so sorry about the Elytra. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit I'm sorry scared. For blowing you up, <laughs> dude. I'm still withered. If you don't notice, I'm still emitting particles, and I washed. Are you? I washed. Yeah, I can see black particles flowing from me. And I'll assure you, I took a shower today. All right. So, like I said, thank you so much for helping me. Oh, hold on. That was anticlimactic. All right. I'm gonna put it up here. Like it's just great trade off. All right. I got the books. I got the books to make this uh, better. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's a great honor. Look at this. You could be swimming and have extra time underwater. It, it gives you more breathing ability underwater. It's magic. Uh, you don't want to give me the nether star instead? I could really use a beacon. <laughs> um, how about we, we, we uh, share? We, share we, are this. we are genuinely close enough to be able to share a beacon. That yes. would be... Oh, wow. Look at it. Look at it glow. That was hard earned, that was. What are you going to make with it anyway? Oh my gosh, dude. I've been trying to make a creeper farm for a week. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, please say rockets. Please say rockets. Okay, I've got a sugarcane farm. If if you want to go halvesies, I will help you make the creeper farm, and then we can have rockets for days. Oh, rockets for days. I have to grab this. I don't want to despawn. I would cry if it didn't, and I would rage quit <laughs> Minecraft. Could you imagine if it just disappeared in front of our very eyes? This would be it. I would be done. It would be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, okay. Yeah, I actually have two stacks of iron, so we just need a little bit more and maybe we could combine the wow. gold and we'll be good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll make an ugly beacon and yeah, you know what? Let's just make it now. I'm, I'm up for it. Teamwork makes the dream work. We've got ourselves a beacon and we'll share the beacon and the farm as we build it together, which I think is going to be absolutely amazing. So now we need to figure out the proper way to make this, of course, and we're going to pop it right in the center of the lake. Why did we go through all the work to get that beacon? <laughs> I know. There's a secret ravine that's basically the shape and size of the farm. <laughs> well, with that revelation, let's hit super fast build mode and build ourselves a creeper farm.
end of super fast build mode and you know it's serious minecrafting business when you're wearing a chest plate these days and you retire the elytra because we're dealing with some serious creeper action down here and i have found a few problems with the farm now the design that we went with was from nembomb and i'm gonna have his link to his channel and the video that this farm can be founded in the description of the video and i sent nembomb a message the nicest man in the world by the way knowledge beyond belief and i made a mistake <laughs> we made a lot of mistakes but the big mistake that we made was we didn't put trapdoors on some of the edges so there are some opportunities um, for spiders to spawn and actually we're getting decent rates now surprisingly especially with the bats <laughs> but uh yeah green went to bed because it's late where he's at now and uh, we had only got like 12 stacks of gunpowder in a couple hours so I'm gonna light up the caves and see if I can make this thing a little bit more efficient. But I'm seeing progress. I'm seeing progress here. A few hours later, hundreds of torches placed. This farm is producing and it is producing beyond my wildest dreams. And I cannot wait for Green to wake up and see how much it is producing because we were a little bit disappointed if we had messed something up or something along those lines, but it is now working wonderfully. Let's detach ourselves from my body and head underground and look at the farm in all of its grandeur. Now, I sent Nembomb a message, as we said before, about the trapdoors. So that is something we're going to need to do is remove some of these half slabs in front of us and replace them with um, some non-spawnable blocks because we are still getting a lot of spiders. But that's okay. We're gonna turn that string into useful things, of course, you know, bamboo, and uh, what else? Uh, bow and arrows for dispensers, of course. Uh, but you can see down here in the pits, all the creepers sizzling away. And we have a small problem that needs to get fixed with the rail line. We have some drops not getting picked up in the corners there. And we just need to make some kind of modification with the rail line. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I expanded the chest and look at this. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. Um, but make sure you guys check out Nembomb's channel. As I said, link is in the description. Seiskar sent you over there. And uh, yeah, I'm super, super happy about this. Wow, <laughs> this episode has taken days and days and hours upon hours to finish. But I'm so glad we now have a sustainable form of gunpowder. Grian's got his sugarcane farm up and rolling and we'll be flying through the world like true top guns and this is gonna be wonderful but my friends until next time this has been good times with scar and i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos and if you believe the video is already rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life <laughs>